Hey, Collective. Um, welcome. Here. Um, I am... Yeah. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna switch it up big time today. Um, not gonna do anything. Um, you know, tarot y. I'm just gonna stick to Oracle and stuff, which isn't like. You know, I usually do oracles anyway, but um, we're going to do animal cards, we're going to do angel prayers, we're going to do angel power uh, tarot, we're going to do the gateway of light activations oracle, and then the angel tarots. Um, and I, I'm just going to do this for y'all because I feel like this is what we I feel like the energy has been so like, hectic and and, and and icky and gross and it's like yeah we've had our laughs and gags and shit but I just want to take it easy um in a sense just like detox in a sense from all of this because Regardless of how much we laugh, regardless of how much we, we goop and gag on this plate, on this channel, um, these are lives that we're talking about. These are people's lives that they are unfortunately living. Unfortunately, unfortunately, take it as, as you want, truly. Um, but it's for, it's for our better good, always. But it's like, it can get tiring on the soul. It can get tiring on, on a vessel to repeatedly allow that negativity to come up. And even though you laugh about it and it's like, oh, ha ha, like, you know, it's still like, there's other things to focus on. And spirit has just like led me to just completely detox um, today. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna lump, jump into the animal spirits. See what animals wanna come out for y'all. So the starfish is definitely the energy of today. We had the live today that had starfish come out and then also it comes out again. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna shuffle two more times, spirit. Okay. Damn. Y'all gonna have me read a lot today, huh? <laughs> So we have we have the starfish, we have the tiger, we have the owl, we have the fire ant, the gazelle, we have the eagle, we have the otter, the rabbit, and the dragon. And we're gonna start off with earth energy, which is rabbit. Um Afraid of everything, overwhelmed and frozen. The rabbit loves to remind us, to remind his friends, that someday the eagle well, will swoop down and eat him. He talks and talks and talks about it so loudly, in fact, that one day the eagle hears and thanks him for the great idea. Rabbit energy is alive when we are scared, most often about the future, and we become our, our own worst enemy. We spin up a dust cloud of fear and then complain to others that we are lost. Notice your thoughts and words. Oh, rabbit, they shape your destiny. When in balance, sensitive, problem solver, good listener. When out of balance, over explains and talks fast to bring into balance a day of silence. Um, next we have water energy. With starfish. Uh, beautiful, alluring, superficial or shallow. The starfish is a natural and exquisite beauty, mesmerizing to all. Being around some of a starfish energy is a thrill, like you've been put under a spell of divinity itself. The problem is, these creatures have been reliant on how they look and how other people think of them for so long that they may have forgotten their deeper callings. 
this card appears and is an important uh, when it's important to ask uh, am I being swayed by outward appearances? What dreams have I put aside to please others? When in balance, uplifting and artistic and expressive. When out of balance, gossips uh, feels empty to bring into balance positive friends. Where are you at? There you are. Otter. Unobstructed joy, playfulness, and contentment. Perhaps the most joyful creature within the animal spirit deck is the otter. The otter represents absolute bliss. Otter energy is the playfulness of a child available to us at any age. They have the giddiness and reverence for life itself without the pressure of doubt, worry, or skepticism. Imagine yourself with a little more otter energy. What would life look like? What would it take to bring you there? The otter card begs these questions and wants to transport us to that precious place as soon as possible. The celebration awaits. When in balance, full of love needs nothing. When out of balance, a gloomy sighs makes silly excuses <laughs> to bring into balance a dance party or celebration. We have fire ant. Aggression, rigid thinking, and following orders. Fire ant fl energy flares up without us noticing. It is the force that attracts us to people in situations that feed our imbalances rather than those that counter them. Gossiping and blaming are a few indicators that misaligned fire ant en energy is at play. You may also find yourself stewing on a person or situation, only making things worse. How can you break free from the drama and cool down? Fire ants are surprisingly sensitive. Don't pretend the heat isn't getting to you. When imbalanced, thoughtful, and disciplined. When out of balance, argues, excess heat, gossips. To bring into balance, solo time or walks at night. We have the gazelle. Heightened awareness and ability, vulnerability. The gazelle represents supreme grace. With every move, this awe-inspired beauty amidst sophistication and elegance. Gazelle personalities are often hyper-aware of their surroundings, bordering on hyper-vigilant, and this can inhabit, inhibit them from enjoying the beauty they've spent so much effort cultivating. No more worrying about all those predators out there in the wild. When this card appears, it's time to get back to the present moment. Sit down, find your breath, and acknowledge the bounty that surrounds you. Let it nourish your gentle spirit. When in balance, grateful, perspective, artistic. When out of balance, food aller allergies, insomnia, and racing mind. To bring into balance, yin yang, a cozy home, and good food. We have tiger energy, lunar force, ease in the darkness, feminine energy. The tiger hunts at night, at one with the suns, fearing nothing. This card reminds us to take time in the wild darkness to allow the lunar forces to soothe and heal our spirits. Sensuality, receptivity, and devotion are all heightened in the midnight hour, and the tiger takes advantage of these boons. Spend some time in silence this evening, drinking on the potent calm. There is nothing to fear in this stillness except for the awakening of your own power. When imbalanced, passionate, strong, and sensual, when out of balance, overstimulated, to bring in a balance, uh, tra uh, trataka, uh, tra candle gazing. We have air energy next. Starting with owl, abundance, clairvoyant, and treasures. The owl is a mysterious and otherworldly creature found in more folklore from east to west. The white owl in this particular deck is the companion of the goddess Lakshim, Lakshmi, and represents wealth, beauty, and good fortune. When the owl card appears, it's an omen that a boon or a treasure is on its way, either in spiritual or material form. With owl wisdom on your side, you'll see and know exactly what you do with this boon, how it can further serve your dharma and bring abundance to the world. Trust that the wellspring of treasures is infinite. When in balance, generous, trusting, and secure, when out of balance, money quarrels and scarcity to bring into balance an offering. We have Eagle. An all pervading power, truth seeker, transforms karma. The noble Eagle emanates the light of the sun. 
This great bird is both physically and spiritually strong and represents mastery over the elements of fire and air. When the eagle appears, you'll soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation. The eagle pushes us to be our best and brightest self and stops at nothing to see us shine. Grasp the sun in your talons and hold on for the ride. You are stronger than you think, eagle child. When in balance, bright, radiant, and challenges. When out of balance, controlling. To bring into balance, step into the unknown. And then we have, last but not least, we have dragon. Seeing one's most true self, balancing the ego. The dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since the first breath and will be it there will be there at our last. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous, visionary, and can easily drop into witness consciousness. It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror deep into our eyes, we may even glimpse at the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon breathing transformative fire into every cell of our bodies. Witnessing this omnipotent energy, even for a brief moment, helps us surrender and let go. We let a dragon guide us, we hop on its back for a ride, and as we traverse, and as we traverse to even the most difficult terrain, the dragon eye sees beauty everywhere. It is said that if a yogi does not see beauty in the world, their agni is dim. Agni is described as inner fire or sacred intelligence. May even just the mention of the dragon stir the embers of intelligence within you. The dragon in the third chakra. The subtle energy of the dragon lives at the navel center at the Manipura chakra. Manipura translates to the city of hidden gems. gems. And behind its gates burns the fire of our transformation and digestion. The sages believe that the health of the fire at the navel center is what governs our ability to see clearly, uh, see clearly see both inner and outer dimensions. Excuse me. But yes, there we go. Um, we're gonna go. Oh my goodness, spirit, y'all are blowing me up. Thank you, spirits. Give me like a round of applause with my with my notifications right now. They're like happy for this. But we're gonna go to the angel prayer deck. Trust your vibes. Thank you, angels. Today I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. You have the divine, the inner power with the divine father. Thank you, divine father. Divine father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. We have leap of faith. I am ready to take a leap of faith, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. Again, we have Spirit Animal. Thank you, Animal Kingdom, for blessing my path with love. Archangel Gabriel, speak your truth. Thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to speak with integrity. Earth Angel, thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be more like you. Don't hate, meditate. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to love through meditation. Connect with music. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me through music. Take a step back. Thank you, angels, for helping me to step back from, from what is not serving me. The miracle of nature. Thank you, angels, for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air. The miracle of prayer. Archangel Sandolphin. Thank you, Sandolphin, for delivering my prayers to heaven. Spiritual support. Thank you, uh, dear angels. I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. 
Um, honor your feelings with Archangel Hanael. Thank you, Hanael, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. Shine your light with Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me share my light with the world. We have our transformation with Archangel Zadkayil. Thank you, Zadkayil, for supporting me to transform my past challenges. And last but not least, we have the miracle of forgiveness, Archangel Jeremel. Thank you, Jeremel, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. I had a little sigh of relief real quick. Um, so we're going to do the Archangel Powers. Do I, I don't want to read from the book. <laughs> oh, I got a notification. The heavens are proud. On this phone. The heavens are proud. Okay. okay. Thank you, heavens, for being proud of me at this time. Thank you for being proud of Collective, too. Like, that wasn't just for me. That was for anyone that resonates with me. But that just heavily resonated with me. Okay, y'all are spitting out. I see, I see. I'm going to shuffle two more times. Okay. Y'all just have a lot to say today. Damn. Not an issue, not an issue. Just a lot of messages coming out here. We have the two of Michael. It will all it will all be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. We have the three of Michael. Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. The ten of Raphael. Excuse me. Blessings, love and blessings will fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members and a happily ever after. The four of Rael. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. The Eight of Raphael, there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. The Six of Gabriel, congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. It's time to move on to the next project. Awards, scholarship, or promotions. The two of Gabrielle, make a bold and ambitious, making bold and ambitious choices. Uh, great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. The page of Raphael, gentle, loving, and dreamy, open-hearted. A new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insight. The Ten of Michael, a situation has ended and you're finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. That resonated with me so hard, so I claim that. Like, ooh, Three of Gabriel, prosperity arising from wise planning. Hold on, who puts ads in the middle of meditation music? That is so wrong. That's so wrong. Not not that it's wrong because it's like get your money, but mid roll during meditation music that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Three K rail prosperity arising <laughs> from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So I feel like something's just gonna happen. For you, it's gonna be like fuck, but it's gonna be like a good. It's gonna be like good. Um, and spirit, I guess, I guess that's what spirit wanted me to say. 
Michael is present. I feel Michael heavily. And I say that, and then the five of Michael is underneath that. That's crazy. We have the six of Raphael. Embrace your inner child. New friends or rekindled relationships. Children or childhood. We have the five of Michael. The situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. King of RIL. Success, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. We have the Four of Michael. Insights that come from quiet meditation. The need for more sleep or time off. Seek relief from stress. Oh, I need, oh God, I need to hear that one. <laughs> um, the Ten of RAL. There is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement. A rich and rewarding family life. The Knight of Raphael. Romantic, dramatic, poetic, and introspective. Committed and romantic relationships. Being swept off your feet. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. I love this so much. These are good. These are just, it's just such a serene energy. Six of RAL. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. You know, the Queen of Raphael. Kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. We have the Ace of Gabriel. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing in a sense of wonder. The Five of RAL. You needn't go through this current situation alone or current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. And last but not least, the six of Michael. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. That, again, that one really, like, damn, I just, ooh. Collective, get ready. Oh my lord, they just keep falling all over the floor. They just keep falling on the floor. The archangels are flying all over the place, bro. <laughs> they, they're they going crazy and hooping and hollering right now. I'm going to shuffle two more times, spirit. Okay. Uh, so we have... You know, I'll start I'll start with the first card that fell out because the way it came out was just so interesting. It was Leap of Faith with Archangel Metatron. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart and do what gives you joy. Epiphany with Archangel Raziel. Joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. Perspective with Archangel Chamuel. There is a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Mm. We have, sorry, my shoulder. But we have solutions with Archangel Zadkail. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Michael with the world, a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. The lovers with Raphael, um, make choices from your heart, deeply emotional commitments, the power of love, 
And last but not least, Archangel Gabriel with the Empress. Time to take action upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. All right, Spirit. What's going on? Let's get your Gateway of Light Activation Oracles. How are we feeling, Gateway? How are we feeling? One more spirit, and I can. You know what's funny? I seen you earlier in the book today, and I was like, "Huh." And now here he is popping his head out. That's adorable. Thank you so much. Um. So we'll begin with actually that one because it's ironically the first one that we read. <laughs> So, crystal skull wisdom, clarity, divine healing, high vibrational energy. Crystal skulls are said to have been healing tools and wisdom keepers in ancient civilizations of Atlantis and Lemuria. Crystal quartz is also known for its capacity to amplify energy and store information. When a crystal is carved into a particular shape, it can bring healing and clarity to what it represents and uncover memories that could be essential for revealing the truth. Therefore, crystal skulls are wonderful healing tools that bring clarity to the mind and healing to, this plate, to the head space. Uh, this, card can transport, this card transports us to an energetic space representing the crystal skull consciousness. It delivers high vibrational frequencies into our energy field so that we can experience clear-mindedness. If you have felt called to crystal skulls or if it had an interest in them, there's a possibility you have connected with them in a previous incarnation. They are gateways to clarity and potential. Um, to connect, visualize yourself being transported to the heart of the stars and act, ask to be connected to the crystal skull consciousness. Take time to breathe and receive direct transmission from these crystal beings. Um, the message. All aspects of your life are becoming clear at this time. Expect to become aware of what you need to step away from to have a more focused path. You may have felt indecisive, but now you are downloading direct guidance from the heart of source so that you can live and express yourself in a more authentic way. Know that downloads often appear as your own inner guidance, uh, encouraging you to move forward. The key is to recognize the calmness they bring. This is a time of clarity and connection. Crystal skull wisdom is here to bring clarification to what you have been receiving within. In order for your next phase of your journey to unfold, you must follow the information you have received. You know what you need to do and heal and grow. If you've been asking for a sign that the healing work you have been doing is, has been successful, trust that this card is the message that you've been waiting for. Beautiful. Next, we have the Divine Matrix. Um, interconnectedness, synchronicities, and God... Uh, insensities. Uh, everything is connected. Everything that was, is, and ever will be is connected on it by an invisible bond of energy, uh, uniting everything, every living being from the past, present, and even future. This isn't a new idea. Even great mystics thought the ages had understood that everything is one, and now sciences are beginning to provide evidence for it. The best way to describe the connection is a lattice or grid, a divine matrix. We're all points on this grid, and we all are connecting through it. It limits us to our ancestry and loved ones, aspects of our path, of ourselves past, present, and future, and also the ancient and divine wisdoms held in the quantum field of the universe. 
This card shows a giant stargate opening up in the universe and a piece of sacred geometry, geometry known as the Flower of Life. This is quite literally a two-dimensional image of the Divine Matrix, and the information held within can help us begin to understand the inner and outer works of this incredible universe. If you spend time with this image, you'll find multiple images within it, reminding us that nothing is happening by chance and that even when we can't fully comprehend it, there's a greater plan unfolding. To connect, meditate on the Flower of Life image on this Gateway card. Affirm. I am connected to all beings and intelligence and all forms of light, past, present, and future. I am one with the one. I am one with the one. Your message. You are in alignment with oneness of life and the inner workings of the universe. You are part of something great. This means you are not greatness experiencing itself. Not one thing in your life has happened by chance. Even when you've uh, felt that things are against you, a process has been unfolding, helping you understand your connectedness to all things. So there's not a need to feel insignificant or lonely. This is also important to remember that the universe is always working in your favor and for your highest good. You may have felt lost, but know that nothing is ever lost. For we are all held in the heart of Source, and love is our, connect is our connection to all things. Wow. Jesus. Powerful, powerful messages coming from this one today. We have the Emerald Tablet Activation, Cosmic Ordering, Divine Alchemy, uh, and Conscious Manifestation. The Golden Tablet is one of the most celebrated of Hermetic texts in the series. Sorry about that. I had to switch locations real quick. Um, but we're back. We're back. And we have emerald activation, emerald tablet activation. I don't know how I'm gonna hold this up. Um, but the emerald tablet is one of the most celebrated in Hermetic text series of sacred uh, Egyptian and Greek texts from the second century or earlier. They are the basis of uh, Hermeticism, a spiritual tradition that brings together sciences and spirituality through investigation of the cosmos, mind, and nature. Most of the texts are a series of dialogues between a teacher and a student and are based on the concept of alchemy. The art of tuning the lead into gold or something that is leaden into a heavy that is leaden and heavy into a gold. The emerald tablet is said to have been carved on a bright green stone that was transported to Egypt around the fall of Atlantis and stored in the halls of the, of the Medi, under the Great Pyramid. Although this legend is widespread, the origin of the text is shrouded by mystery. We do know that it's made of 14 passages, which first appeared in a book written sometime in the 6th and 8th centuries, and has been highly influential. Its most famous statement is, as above, so below, meaning that is what on in the high heavens is reflected upon earth. The author signs off as Hermes uh, Trigmesius, which is another name for Paul, who is featured in this day and is thought to have been the priest king of Atlantis. This, uh, the idea that he knew of the approaching end of, of that civilization and hid the Emerald Tablet and many other teachings in order to preserve them for spiritual aspirants in the future. To connect with this card, recite the Emerald Tablet's most famous words. As above, so below, working with the miracles of one, all things to come from one message from this card is when the emerald tablet activation card appears you are being called to remember the gifts you have been carrying on from previous lifetimes even if you don't always understand how to express them there's a part of you that knows you hold great power within this is a special time for you to use that power and to bring manifestation all that you need for your life to unfold in a way that is in alignment with your best interests all that has unfolded so far has given you the opportunity to learn and grow, even the unsettling moments. But you are a ma master alchemist with the capacity to take all that is once challenged, uh, all that is was once challenging, and use it to create positivity, uh, positive opportunities, goodness for yourself. As above, so below. All other thoughts that you need to send up to source will contribute to your evolution on Earth. Source. All encompassing love, 
unconditional acceptance and serenity. The source is the universal. The source of the universe is a gigantic heart. It beats. Its beats are angels and beings of light. It is what many call God. Its love that is beyond gender and dogma, the infinite expressing infinity. It is all that is, all was, and will ever be. Its love being love and expressing love. It's an energy that can be explained but never fully, never fully comprehended. It's where we have come and where we will all return. The strangest part of it all is we've never even left. Even though we are spiritual beings having a human experience and may feel that source is separate from us, the truth is we are always connected, even when we feel we're not. This gateway takes us upward, not upward, but inward. It is the gateway that reminds us through the stargate of our heart we are connected to the heart of creation. Not only that, but we exist and express ourselves within that heart. Even though we may be on this planet experiencing Earth as a planet within the Milky Way, and all, all, all of this with more is actually being expressed by the heart of Source. The vastness of this divine love is inexplainable, but it's who we are. To connect, say thank you, Source of Love, for bathing me in your infinite light and for reminding me I am one with all that is. The message is, you are connecting directly with the heart of Source, the creator of love and of life and love. You are blessed to receive this card for it shows the cup of your heart is filled with love until it overflows. The divine energy that is with you now is helping you melt away blockages so that you can be open to the love, acceptance, and appreciation that you deserve. You are being encouraged to... Can you all stop with these mineral ads? Jesus, bro. What? Y'all can't be doing that. That's gross. <laughs> with the meditation music. Chill with it. That's three in a row. Divine energy is now helping you melt away any blockages so that you can be open to the love, acceptance, and appreciation that you deserve. You are being encouraged to view yourself in a loving way and give yourself permission to be loved. If you have been holding back for a while but are now ready to share the love that you have within, this card lets you know that it's safe to do so. You are love, loving, and lovable. Step forward. Claim your worth. A new level of spiritual openness. You are truly blessed. You are truly blessed. I gotta stop thinking about that. But now... gonna I'm not gonna read like the birthdays and stuff but I will read like the prayers uh, that's what I'm going to to do Joy of God, joy and happiness, it brings happiness to couples, removes negative energy. Psalms 145.8 The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, 
Bridge in Love. We have Uriel, the Fire of God, Disruption, Warns of Disaster, Aids, and Transformation. Genesis 3.24 After he drove the men out, he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword. We have Elamiah, the hidden god, divine power, guards against mental troubles. Seraphim, Psalms 6 5. Return, O Lord, deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake. We have uh, Mahasiya, God the Savior. Rectification helps one live uh, in peace with everyone. Seraphim, Psalms 34 5. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. We have Haziel, the merciful God. Divine forgiveness obtains friendship and favors the great, secures promises. Cherubim, Psalms 25, 6. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of hope. Melahel, God deflecting evil, healing capacity, protection from all weapons, and safety in travel. Thrones, Psalms 121.8, the Lord shall pre pres uh, preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, and even forevermore. Mandadil, the honorable God, inner and outer work, helps one keep their job, protects against disasters. Powers, Psalms 26, 8, Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house, and the place where thine honor dwelleth. We have Rehael, Rehael. Um, the quickly forgiving God, loving love and submission, cures illness, influences parental love, and gives on life. Powers, Psalms 30.10. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Yeah. the internal God, intellectual lucidity, provides consultation and compensation. Psalms 102 12. But thou, O Lord, shalt endure forever and thy remembrance unto all generations. And last but not least, we have uh, Iahel, God the highest being, desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. Uh, Archangels, Psalms 119 159. Consider how I love thy precepts, quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. So that is God's message. Just a nice little calm, good message. Nothing, nothing too rough, you know. Um, thank you all so much for all the support. Uh, I love you all so much. Um, if you are new and you like to buy, please subscribe and the bell to be notified whenever I post videos go live or post on a community tab. If you like to email me for readings. Um, or uh, to get added to the group chat. Just tell me your story for meditation music for Sigils of Runic Work hit me up. If you would like to donate, feel free to donate. We have links in the description, Cash App, Pay uh, Cash App PayPal, PayPal, and Vimo. Uh, we have stickers and, and supers, or you can also become a member of the channel. If you can't do any of that or just don't want to, don't worry. Your energetic donations mean the world to me. The likes, comments, shares, and subscribes, the fact that you're here watching the videos mean all. Um, thank you all so much for all the love, support, everything. Uh, it means the world to me. It truly does. I love each and every one of you back. I love each and every one of you to the moon and back. Um, and I'll see you later.